Hey everybody, welcome back. Jim Crane with you once again. Hey, it's been a while since uh, we've done a video and um, that's mainly because it is becoming harder and harder to find high quality pieces um, to, to feature on the channel. There is a plethora of mediocre offerings out there and I'm just not really interested in wasting your time um, with those. Um, so when a, a nice high quality piece comes along, something new, um, it's going to be here on this channel and I'm, I'm proud to, uh, to feature it and show it to you. This is from, again, from Coronado Leather in San Diego. This is from their Pioneer shop. It's called the Mailbag Number 280 and this is the smaller version. It comes in two sizes. It comes in a larger version and the smaller version. This smaller version is about uh, 14 inches wide. It's about 10 inches high and um, it's about three and a half inches wide. Um, it's a soft-sided bag, so um, you know if you're going to stuff it with a lot of stuff, it's, it's going to expand out. And the bag's designed that way. It's got these nice traditional mailbag gussets that um, will kind of puff out the more you, the more you put in there. Um, this is a, a beautiful bag. It's made in California, and it's made using a, one of my favorite leathers, which is uh, from the Horween Tannery. This is called um, Horween's Dublin uh, leather. And it's just a gorgeous vegetable tanned leather. It has this very, very smooth finish to it. It's, um, it is uh, made using the same um, tanning ingredients and liquors that Horween uses to make their um, cordovan leather. They're really uh, high quality shell cordovan leather. Um, this leather is uh, got a nice uh, waxy top coat on it. It's um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of leather. And of course, Horween always has this absolutely intoxicating aroma when you when you um, take it out of the box. And this one is no different. This has got that beautiful Horween leather smell to it, and it's just a super high quality piece of leather. So if you're if you are used to owning those um, chrome tan spray painted bags that you get from you know where, um, you really owe it to yourself to get at least one piece made in Horween's um, Dublin leather, a vegetable tan product. It's just absolutely gorgeous and you will probably never go back to that chrome tanned stuff um, once you've, you've gotten your hands on this. Uh, so. Um, Again, this is the smaller version, 14 inches by 10 by about three and a half. Um, it weighs um, maybe two and a half pounds, maybe three pounds uh, when it's empty. I've got um, this one kind of filled up, um, but it's, it's, it's gorgeous. They, um, they pretty much stuck to kind of the original bones of a U.S. mail bag. Um, so to start, you've got a, a storm flap. This one is secured. Um, the U.S. mail bags actually came in two versions, one with a great big storm flap on it that was unsecured, and they had a secured flap uh, for various regions of the country. Um, I'm down to a smaller size bag. I don't need to carry a big 17-inch laptop with me anymore, so this bag for me is just the perfect size. I just love this size bag. It's um, unobtrusive. It's easy to carry. Um, so we've got um, not only the nice traditional mail bag gussets, we've got the uh, seam, the side gusset seam, reinforced with stitching and hand uh, peened copper rivets. And that's a traditional feature in a mail bag, as well as these top cinch straps. And um, they are um, very much like the original. They begin here on the back of the bag, on the spine of the bag, which is this portion of a mail bag. Begin here, wrap around the front, and on this bag, they're adjustable. So we've got a nice brass roller buckle here and this bag is brand new so I've never never opened it. So let's get it. Well I've opened it but I've not done it very much. Um, so you can see the top cinch straps are adjustable so you've got two sizes if you want to take it in. Um, you just pull uh, the post, pull the leather over the post here and place it in here. That'll cinch it down a little bit for you. It's a little uh, Horween Dublin little piece here to let you know what the bag is made out of. Um, so on this bag, traditionally, 
in a mail bag, the makers would reinforce the spine here because all of the weight of the bag is carried right through here. So traditionally they use a nice thick like 11, 12 ounce piece of vegetable tan leather on the inside of this, maybe even two pieces to reinforce this portion of the bag. And what um, Coronado has done is they've actually inserted a metal bar that's sandwiched in between these two stitch lines. And that gives it all the support that it could ever possibly need. You could load this down with everything you have and it's not going to bend that uh, metal bar. So that gives you a kind of a cleaner look, a very strong and secure um, spine or anchor point without uh, loading up on too much of a thickness of leather on the inside. So it's, it's sandwiched in there, it's not visible. Um, you can see here that there's a nice gener generous pocket on the inside, secured again with these hand-peened copper rivets, um, as well as the anchor points for the um, handle and the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is a nine ounce piece of the Horween uh, Dublin. It's thicker through here and then it narrows down on the ends. It's adjustable with this brass roller buckle. Okay, and it can come off if you wanted to just carry the bag in kind of business mode with, and you didn't need the shoulder strap, you could remove that. The handle itself is, is permanently on there so it's not removable. It is a nice thick piece of that nice nine ounce Horween Dublin. It is um, sandwiched over, so it's two thicknesses. The edges are all finished and burnished, so you've got a nice look and then those pieces are run through the brass D-rings and then um, secured with the, bra or with the copper rivet. So it's a nice secure handle. The fold is down where your fingers are, so it's nice and comfortable to grip right here. And then the, um, the seam is on the top, so that's not where you're going to really grab it. But even that's not very, it's not rough at all. It's all um, nicely finished. But there's your handle. We've got your adjustable shoulder strap here. It, you, they're using a kind of an antiqued brass to kind of give the bag uh, more of a vintage look, and that's nice rather than a nice shiny, um, shiny brass or like a nickel, uh, nickel plated brass, which can be a little, um, would be a, kind of uh, flashy on a bag like this. So inside, uh, flap is secured, nice heavy thick piece of the Horween Dublin stitching and copper rivets. Again, this is also the buckle is also secured with two copper rivets, nice roller buckle. And inside the bag, we've got um, a pretty nice, um, pretty nice generous um, room in there, uh, space in there. It is divided. We've got the kind of traditional mailbag front flap. So um, that is included. And you can put a laptop in there. I've just got a... Um, my journal in there, okay? But it's room en roomy enough to put in your laptop. And back here on the, they've uh, included an organizational panel, which is nice. So um, they've made, Coronado's made some changes to their specs on their, on their bags. One of them is now the pen holders are quite generous. So if you have some brassies or a copper, these big thick pens, there is now plenty of room. Um, in there to, to carry them. You don't need to um, carry just the thinnest pen that is made. That's how, kind of how they were before. There's a place here for your business cards. And then if you have an um, uh, iPad or similar tablet, you've got room in here to put it. You can stow it in there. Okay. Um, down in the, the rest of the bag is just a very big cavernous opening. So got um, some eyeglasses in there. There's a little pouch from Coronado, carry your little um, various and sundry items that you need throughout the day. Uh, there's uh, field notes, um, again, a um, little note uh, journal that I use for specific reasons. Carry your wallet in here, no problem. Um, of course, I've always got my Leatherman available, um, one of these neat little British Army knives. These are really, really handy, um, and they will cut through anything. They are really, really sharp. Uh, comb. This is also Horween Dublin. It's from the Chicago Comb Company. Had that for a long time. And, of course, the flashlight, which 
always need to carry. Um, so uh, one of the nice things about the interior that I like is that on this uh, front divider, the inside is the flesh side or the suede side. So out here you've got that nice uh, top grain, um, full grain of the Horween Dublin. So it's got that nice slick feel to it. Um, also the edges here, the seams are finished over with, a, with leather. So a piece of leather is wrapped around the seams and stitched on. So you don't have any open seams in here. It's just that really beautiful finish. So you get a really nice classic look to it. Also, each of the bags is serial numbered. So there's the serial number for this bag. And your bag, of course, will have its own individual serial number on it as well. And some very modest um, uh, graphics here. This is Coronado leather, which is stamped into a very inconspicuous place on the bag. So if you don't like one of those people that don't like to show off what you are carrying, um, you can't really go wrong with that. That's very inconspicuous. Doesn't bother me at all. They could have put it out here, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it just gets people to ask questions. Um, doesn't bother me, but I know there are a lot of people out there that don't want to sport um, logos as they go through their day. So the um, Strap here is adjustable, and um, so you can fill it with as much as you need or just as little as you need, and I don't really need to carry that much with me. So again, this is the beautiful um, mailbag number 280 from Coronado, uh, from their Pioneer shop. They've got all kinds of offerings, everything from beautiful pieces of luggage um, messenger bags, um, concealed carry bags, uh, wallets, accessories, um, purses, all kinds of things in their shop. They've been around since 1981 um, and have really quite a solid reputation um, in leather goods. So um, I'm glad that I was able to show this to you. I'm glad we've got a nice top quality piece of leather. There's no substitute for quality. Um, a lot of makers out there think there is, but there really isn't, and Coronado understands that. So I'm glad I had a chance to show it to you. We will see you again in an upcoming video. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.